One of the most important factors towards your success in Pet Simulator 99 is how you choose your enchantment loadout for your player. In this video, I'm going to be going over each and every single one of the enchantments that we currently have in Pet Simulator 99. It's which ones you should be equipping to your loadouts and which ones you should just immediately throw away. In the new update, we received three new enchantment books as well. So we're going to be going over those. At, I'll be showing you uh, a test of the various new enchants that we got. So we got a lot to cover in this video today. If you like this type of content, please leave a like on the video. It helps tremendously. And don't forget to comment your Roblox username down below. We will be giving away three more exclusives on this video. We do this every single video within the first 24 hours of the upload. So make sure you subscribe and have notifications on for that. Without a further ado, we're going to get right into this because we have a lot to cover. There are so many enchantments. All right. So we actually have exactly 30 enchantments to cover in this video. We have all the pictures right here. As you can see, I have added in the uh newest enchants from the uh last update so as you can see 30 enchantments in total we're gonna go over the core enchantments first first up we actually have the coins enchant while the coins enchant is really good at the beginning in late game it really plays no role because you just gather so many coins and most of the time, you always end up just having the max amount of coins anyway. So this really doesn't even matter after a quick point in the game. So this is something I would just put at C because there are better alternatives than this book. And I'll show you that in a minute. Next up, we have the Criticals book. So this is actually going to be the first of the S tier books that I put on the enchantment list. Criticals is super important. Almost every build you have in the game will include this enchantment. It is just so good. I currently use the Critical 6 books um, because Critical 7 is just too expensive to justify at the moment. But once I start doing a certain amount of damage, I will most definitely be upgrading these books first. Just overall, a great enchant next up we actually have the second s tier enchant we're gonna have which is the diamonds enchant most of the end game builds you have will include this diamond enchant because getting diamonds is just so important in pet simulator 99 it is just the economy of the game how you buy more huges upgrade your loadout stuff like that this is super important these books are the most expensive currently of the eight core books that we have next on the list we actually have the magnet book this is going this is also going to be s tier it just has to be because it's literally every single loadout except for your egg opening loadout is going to have this magnet three book it is so important in the game every loadout has it it's just how it works if you don't have magnet three you're gonna have to manually run around the plot that you're in to pick up stuff and nobody's gonna do that pet simulator is all about afk grinding doing multiple things at once so being able to just pick everything up without having to think about it is just so important i just noticed that I just noticed there's actually nine core books. I forgot about the Lucky Eggs book. It was all the way down here. I was not looking. So we actually have nine core books to go over. So I'll include this one at the end of these, this set. So controversially, I uploaded a whole video about this enchant. The Speed 5 enchant is actually more overpowered than people think. But... It honestly is just not that good for many late game builds, but it does have a little bit more use in the end game than something like the coins book. So I'm going to be putting this at the B tier. Next up, we have the Strong Pets book, uh, which is the next best damage enchant behind the Criticals book, but it is just overall inferior to the Criticals book. So we're going to have to put it at A. If you have a better Strong Pets book than your Critical book, then maybe in some cases it might be better to do one Critical, one Strong Pets. But for the most part, most builds will have you using two Critical books. It's going to be my first A tier listing. Next up, I believe this is Tap Power. Uh, Tap Power, honestly, it gets a bad rap, 
but for early game and even some late game scenarios, tap power really isn't that bad. Um, this is a tough one because I actually really like this book and sometimes I turn it on in certain situations, but I can't say it is really that useful late game. Like, like I said, most of Pet Simulator is just grinding AFK, so there's just not really much of a use for this book, so I'm going to have to keep it at C tier. Just above the coins book though. Next Next up, we have Treasure Hunter. This book is so important, especially in this new update. It's It probably almost is an S tier book, but I'm going to keep it at upper A tier for now. Uh, I, obviously, we can move things along once we start adding all of these other enchantments, but Treasure Hunter is so important in Pet Simulator 99. Like with these enchantments, this is almost always going to be part of your build for grinding. So super important, but just not quite as important as these, especially with the new drops game pass that we have currently. All right, so the last of the core enchantments, we actually have this Lucky Eggs book. So it's kind of tough to rank these eggs books, uh, like these three right here, Lucky Eggs, Huge Hunter, and Shiny Hunter. They're the only ones in their category, so it's kind of hard to rank them low uh, because just uh, it's the only thing that you can use to actually help you in the egg luck category. So I'm going to put it at low A tier. Because this is useful a lot of times if you are early in a update and you're trying to get those high tier pets from the top egg. This book is very useful. But, you know, most people are just opening those eggs for huges. So most of the time it doesn't matter. I believe it's the second highest priced enchant of these core enchants that we have listed so far. So clearly this is something that should be ranked pretty highly it is pretty important to a lot of people it is one of the three egg books that we have currently in the game so this is the core enchant tier list we have so far we actually got a lot of high ranking enchants we didn't even list one of these at d rank yet this just shows how important that these core enchants are to your loadout most of your loadouts will include these all right, you guys, so now we move on to the special enchantment category, which is obviously the biggest one we have here in Pet Sim. Uh, all these do different special things. I will be showing some clips for ones that I feel need a further explanation, but I'm sure you guys know what a lot of these do. But as well, I will be explaining how you get most of these enchantments if I do know. So we are starting off with the Happy Pets enchant. Happy Pets... I'm sorry, is going to be our first D in chat tier. This is just trash. I probably have about 20 of these. They drop just from, you can get them from the spinny wheel, from the crystal key. Uh, you, you could get them probably from anywhere in the game, honestly. The, uh, the merchants sell them as well. Just not a good book. The description says pets randomly get bursts of joy, moving 21st moving 25% faster and attacking 40% quicker as well. I mean, it might be good like in the very early stages of the game, but it just isn't that good. But sorry to say, Happy Pets is our first D tier enchant, but good thing Happy Pets is not alone actually. Tap Teamwork is going to be joining Happy Pets as our second worst enchant. Tapping with your pets creates a Tap Teamwork buff, making your pets attack 10% faster and it stacks like six times or something. It's just not that good. Tapping obviously Obviously, honestly, all of the special tapping enchants uh, are going to be pretty low except for one. So you're going to want to keep watching to see which one that is. That's not that bad. But most of these tapping ones are just not that good. We're just going to keep moving on because there is a lot of enchants and I don't want to make you guys sit through too long of a video. But next we have the blast enchant, which taps have a 10% chance to ignite an explosion, damaging nearby breakables. This is actually not too bad. I put it probably C tier, maybe between these two. Uh, we'll probably do a final readjustment at the end if I feel any of these are misplaced. But actually early game, this is kind of good because it is super cheap and it does do a decent little explosion. If you're tapping and using an auto clicker, it, it, it can do a significant amount of damage uh, to a group of breakables. It's just not the best. Definitely not usable in the late game, unfortunately. Uh, so joining this is the lightning enchant, which is kind of the same, honestly, as blast. I think like I think you could use these interchangeably. Tapping, tapping has a chance to send bolts of lightning to nearby breakables. So it's kind of the same thing, but this one explodes and this one's lightning. Uh, it's not that 
bed, it can have its use, but most of the time it's just it's not the not the best thing you could choose. Midas touch. Um, Midas touch, it just gives you more base gold, but honestly, I'd use the coins over it, so it's just not that good. It is a lot cheaper now, though, so it is very obtainable, but yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't suggest using this for pretty much anybody. All right, for this next one on this list, I actually had to do some independent testing because there was a lot of people that aren't sure exactly what this does. It says that it boosts the strength of your best pet by 150%. But as you can see in the clip, it actually does increase the strength of your best pet, but not in the way you would think. A lot of people think that because it boosts your best pet, that it would increase the strength of your best stat pet by 150%, which in turn would boost the damage of all your exclusives as well as your huges. But this is not the case as confirmed in this test. As you can see in this footage, using this exotic enchant actually just increases the damage of your best damaging pet uh so basically whatever your best huge is or if you have a titanic i guess so it's a bit misleading in the way it's worded i'll probably do a whole video on this honestly because i did not know this until i just tested it now with that in mind however i'm gonna be ranking this at honestly i'm gonna rank it at b uh, because it is another one of the damage enchants. Uh, if you do have a really strong singular pet, this could honestly add a ton of damage to your th to squad. But it's just not really worth it. There's much better alternatives. You, you could definitely fill a spot with a better enchantment book than this. But if you happen to get this from a drop, it's not the most useless enchant to use for sure. Moving along, we now have the fortune enchant, which I will actually rank kind of high, definitely higher than the coins. Um, but uh, still, because the fortune enchant increases your coins earned from breakables by 100 and diamonds by 40. So this is actually equivalent to the level five diamond book and the level five coin book combined. So because we have the diamond six book now in the game, it just honestly is just not the best, but it does save you a slot because it can combine the two so that's why it's ranked pretty high and it is also getting cheaper so honestly i might even rank it the low a tier because it is just kind of that that useful thing that saves you an extra slot but now that we have better enchants that give you higher chances at diamonds those are going to be better than this so for that we're going to give it a tier all right so now we're actually moving on to the super lightning enchant which you can get from doing the achievement where you upgrade all your enchantment books up. I believe it's like something like 10,000 enchantments you got to upgrade to get this. It's around 2 million in diamonds to buy it uh, from the trading plaza. It's actually not too bad. It actually is just like a buffed version of the blast enchant or the lightning enchant. I'm going to rank it high B. It is probably one of the highest tapping enchants in the game right now. If you can get this early on, uh, which you probably wouldn't because it does take a while to get that achievement it is pretty good at clearing some areas so if you do want to go for like a tap kind of build this is your bread and butter right here all right next we have we have the most expensive d tier book so this is the chest breaker book it is currently about 32 million diamonds in the trading plaza you have to destroy thousands of thousands of large chests uh to get this book it's it's an achievement so that's why it's so expensive because it is just so rare for somebody to do that i think i'm still about like six thousand large chests away from getting this achievement and i do play the game a lot and i do go buy and break these chests it is just not worth it but uh the chest breaker enchant increases the damage you deal to chest by 200 as you guys know there's just no reason for this uh none of the chests in the game are even that hard to break in the first place you could do more damage to a chest by just using a critical six book in my opinion so it's just d tier honestly the worst just because the price too it's just it's useless and the price is just ridiculous so that's gotta play a role d tier <laughs> next we have next we have another d tier enchant this is the only thing close in the running for being the worst enchant so the starfall enchant you can also get from an achievement which involves breaking uh several thousand 
comets. This enchant gives you a chance for a comet shower to happen while equipped. I would show you the video clip test, but the clip took 45 minutes. Yes, I, I used this book and it took me 45 minutes before I was able to get a comet shower to happen. So there's no really reason you would ever want this. I don't even get why this is such a difficult achievement to get. I did actually earn this book myself by just farming comets, uh, but I do regret doing that and I will probably sell it after this video. I just wanted to do some official testing just to make sure I'm giving you guys factual information. But yeah, it took me 45 minutes before I was able to get a comet shower to happen. So this is the second worst enchant D tier. All right, so huge hunter. So we're getting onto some interesting books here. The huge hunter is probably going to be upper A tier. I'm going to put it like right um, I shall put it above the other lucky eggs book. So huge hunter increases your odds of hatching active huges by 25%. Considering the game pass, huge hunter increases your chances by 2,500%, a whole hundred times more. This doesn't seem like a lot. I've seen very inconclusive evidence of whether or not this actually plays a role in getting huges. I personally have five of these enchantment books when I'm opening eggs to try to get huges. Uh, but I, I, it's so rare to get get huges that it's hard to say if this is even working to be honest i use these and then i use a couple of these shiny hunters just so it increases the chances of that huge being shiny if i get it i don't know i've, I've been running with five i've gone three four nights of opening eggs without getting a huge so i i honestly if it does work i it's got to be up here but this could be a hit or miss for some people i have huge hunter pass and five of these books and it is still so hard to open a huge with that i'm going to put the shiny hunter uh, these are all kind of just like grouped up in the same slightly worse than this probably the shiny hunter increases your chances of hatching shiny pets by 60% I just use this personally with my huge hunter books just because the value of a huge when you're opening it goes up tremendously if it's shiny so I use three of these books as well as five huge hunter books so uh, just for that extra chance to get a super expensive huge that I can just sell and then buy other huges that I would actually like um, so that's that's what I I do it's a decent enchant you get it for free for opening 2000 shiny pets so i want to go out and buy this if you don't have it but it's just something to use because it could make you a lot of diamonds if you are opening eggs constantly all right so we got a, another horrible tapping enchant this is actually going to be worse than the midas touch in my opinion the fireworks the fireworks exclusive enchant sporadically shoots fireworks to explode breakables you tap i'm gonna show you a little clip right now of me using this it is just kind of of sad to be honest I, I i was really disappointed when i say it sounded cool the way it's described but the in actual actuality it is just not that good and it is kind of disappointing this this was a enchantment book that was actually sold in the exclusive shop so rip to anybody who actually used their robux to purchase this but this is a sad book next we have the lucky block book currently after update 5 we have an issue where these are not spawning when somebody is using it i assume this is going to be fixed soon so i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to place this lower in the tier list because of that because i think that will be fixed soon uh but it is kind of hard to rank because this is just where my mind's at right now it is very good actually for drops i want to say it's somewhere mid a when it's working Game, it's actually really good for drops and it's kind of cheap it's about like two million now especially if you wanted this in the past i would buy it right now while it is not working because it is super cheap it's like two million it's like two million diamonds which is just ridiculously cheap it's no longer available in the exclusive shop so nobody can buy it anymore so this would be a great time to pick it up i'm gonna put it middle a tier just under the treasure hunter book all right so next we actually have the chest mimic chest mimic i don't i want to play it lower just because of how freaking expensive it is man it, it is a good enchant but it is so expensive it's like 20 million right now or it's it's probably somewhere around 16 million since the prices have crashed but i'm gonna put it at the lowest s tier uh pro actually no, i'm gonna put it above put it above magnet but it is so good for drops you get they spawn i i'm fairly certain that this enchant has been buffed since update 5 because it spawns so many chests and this is just so good for drops it's like one of the best things you can 
get, honestly. Uh, so if you can afford that 15 million diamond price tag, I would definitely pick this up. I'm going to save these three new enchantments for last. Uh, so we're going to go over this diamond mimic chest enchant now. This, I would say, is actually just, just under chest mimic because it has been buffed in update 5 as well. It is now giving you about 5 to 6k diamonds per chest, which is a lot better than it used to. It used to be 2,000 uh, prior to the update. So this is pretty good. It is also kind of expensive around 8 million right now. You could currently buy it in the exclusive shop for like 2,400 Robux. So it's pretty expensive. I would just grind in game to get diamonds and then buy it because it does boost your diamond grind by a lot. I currently have two of these that I own. So that just shows how much I enjoy it. And I, I would assume you guys have been using this too since the new update. All right. So next we have the massive comet, which is actually really good too. I'm going to put this high A actually. Actually, uh, it's about 900 Robux, I believe, and it drops a lot of items. The only downfall is that it actually takes up a lot of space in the plot when it falls down. So, it, and and it takes a lot of damage to break. So your your pets get distracted for a minute and stop breaking other breakables. But the stuff you get from it is pretty good. So it just has a couple downfalls, but pretty good, especially if you can't afford something like the chest mimic. This is the next best thing for drops. And finally, we have the party time enchant i made a whole video about this one too it's just i don't even i haven't even seen evidence that this actually works to be honest i'm gonna put a c tier because there is a lot of good random events that happen now uh, but this does cost robux and i just haven't seen enough evidence to say that it does anything i might even put it lower I, I feel disrespectful to the tap power to put the party time above it it costs robux it's just not that good of an enchant i think it's like four hundred thousand diamonds right now and, and nobody's using it it's just kind of a sad enchant but yeah finally we move on to the newest enchants that we have in the game currently starting off here we have explosive so explosive gives your pets a chance to ignite an explosive when i first saw this book i was actually super excited because i i remembered the early days of the blast enchant and how i used to love using this when when i first started playing the game but this actually did disappoint me it does do a decent amount of damage it does a little good explosion um but it just doesn't do enough i don't know if the damage for the explosions just needs to be buffed but i was using it in the lucky block area and it just wasn't doing the, the aoe damage that i really wanted it to do i'm gonna say it's low b but it is cool i like explosions you don't have to click, which is a good thing, which is why it'd be better than some of these tap ones that do AoE damage, but it's just not there yet. I think it might be buffed, so hopefully by the time you watch this, it might be better, but at the moment, a couple day, two days after the update, it is just still not that good of an enchant. Next up, we have the large taps enchant, which you can actually get from the spinny wheel, and I'm not sure where else, but I'm sure there's another area, uh, especially from like those secret rooms you could probably get it from. It increases your tap radius this is really a weird enchant i would like to do a deep dive into it i was testing it and it basically just kind of lets you hit like two breakables at once if they're close by i don't know maybe if you combine this with a bunch of the other good tap power like enchants like tap power lightning or super lightning this and then like some of the other ones like i i don't know but maybe it'd be like really good because it like doubles the effects of these but i haven't done enough testing to figure that out yet i don't think it's that good i honestly don't really understand where the idea even came from to get a enchant that increases your tap radius especially on the computer i don't know it just it this one really baffles me um i think it might be better than i think it is but for now it's just not that useful it's cool though i i like it's like a very creative idea that they came up with so i i shout out to begin for that but we will have to see about this one last but not least we finally have the magic orb enchant which spawns an orb companion that fires at nearby breakables this is just this this is just not good i'm sorry i, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news honestly all these new enchantments are just not that good at least you don't have to do anything but it takes up an enchantment slot I, i'll show you a little clip of me using it now it's just uh, it just doesn't do enough to really justify using this and, and it's kind of 
of expensive too. I believe it's about 1 million diamonds at the moment. It takes like 50 of those fuel things at the magic crafting thing. I just don't understand it really. I think maybe it'll be buffed as I think all of these new enchants will be buffed maybe because they just seem pretty useless for something that's supposed to be new and exciting. But this is just my opinion. I honestly don't think I'm gonna move any of these enchants. They kind of seem like they're all in a good place. They all have their justifiable reasons. I would just stay away from this row entirely. This row you might be able to justify if you have the right build or if it's a certain time in the game. This row could be good if utilized correctly or if you just happen to have them, they could be good. This row is ones you're going to start to want to collect so you can add to your lineups. These are the necessary ones you want for your loadout and then you can replace a few few of them with other ones from the A tier. But this is pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, please like. I love making content for this game, so it's been very motivational to see all the support in the comments. Remember to leave your Roblox username down below for the giveaway for today. Join the Discord. We're going to be doing some bigger giveaways on there. Also, you get notified when I go live on there. So just something good you guys should be doing. This video took forever to record. I made sure that each of these enchantments was behaving the way I described in the video just for accuracy purposes I would never want to lie to you guys these are all just my opinions at the moment all these enchants could change in the next day which is really scary for making a video like this because it might just be useless soon but I think most of these enchants will behave in the same way maybe big games will listen to this and buff some of the ones I put lower on the tier list but hopefully they just don't nerf the ones I put high on the tier list because those those are the ones I really want much love love everybody thank you guys for watching like the video and peace out